Hello, it's Harnas here and welcome back to Sea Encounters Capital Ships. Today we are going to do a repeat of yesterday's battle, which of course is uh, between Slolan Pilago by Naturchap and my own ORP Silesia. And the reason for that is that there were some problems with uh, Planes AI and they they basically did not want to chase my carrier, I mean the Bearcats. And I'm pretty sure that during the early testing phase, uh, where we calibrated the, uh, the CV and the, and the planes, this was not the case. And I, I could myself use this kind of uh, fleet move uh, approach and, uh, and it worked fine without any flaws, but it seems that it, it just broke here. So we just made a very slight adjustment to the a local weapon controller and uh, and just uh, excluded everything that is uh, flying higher than 20 meters and that should solve the problem without changing uh, in a major way how the bird cuts actually work okay looks like the bird cuts are being produced in mass very very quickly and okay uh seems like we already have my planes as well so we've got uh, low flying cormorants here and high flying cos planes and of course somewhere in the middle we should be able to see the dreaded kanya planes which are yeah doing their job for sure and looks like the flak is already started to uh, do its work as well the planes are in uh, in range for that but that does not stop them from releasing the payloads so payload is already on the way and yeah we've got some planes being shredded by kanyas here okay pretty good carnage but on the other hand of course now the difference main difference is that uh, the the rockets are actually landing on silesia and doing a sizable hose here and depriving the Silesia from its uh, from its weaponry. All right, for now, basically the the score is, is even. It's uh, there's not much difference here in relation to score. Some further fighter action uh, is definitely uh, available here. Let's move ahead and see how is the. Nato Chaps, uh, Slalom Pilago carrier actually doing. It's under pressure from the torpedoes and uh, and the rockets as well. But yeah, it's it looks pretty fine. I don't see a major damage here for now. Some rockets definitely landed. Not sure about the torpedoes. Seems to be holding pretty well. Okay, looks, looks like uh, those two rockets just landed here. And what about the torpedoes? Let's see if we can see Cormoran in action doing some some damage here. Okay. All right, looks like the torpedo is in the water. Let's see if it uh, can actually hurt the carrier. I think it's going to just pass right, right after that. Yeah, it's not going to hit. So of course the hit rate on the torpedoes is not not that great. Let's see the propulsion. Okay, <laughs> as we were talking about that, I can see that uh, propulsion was definitely hit. Alright, let's move to the other side. And actually Silesia is taking more damage 
than uh, than Slot and Pilago. So it's definitely different outcome than the previous battle. More planes are being shot down by the Silesia craft, but uh, other than that, the but e even because of even uh, despite of that fact, is uh, the situation is more difficult for Silesia still. Okay, some brave <laughs> Burkhardt pilot just flew uh, right close up. But yeah, the a small downside of the anti-air of uh, of Silesia is that it's not, not really trying to uh, kill the closest one. And this is mainly related to the fact that it also needs to shoot uh, the carriers. So it actually does not, doesn't really uh, does not really prioritize the close traffic. Okay, looks like Kanya is trying to do its job here. A lot of of the effectiveness of Kanya depends on how many targets are actually lying in the water because uh, the main problem is that uh, that it's trying to prioritize lower targets and uh, but cannot actually shoot them. <laughs> so that's the main problem. Okay, looks like that one was shot down. So in general, um, general looks like the Stolan Pilagos squad uh, in total is a little bit behind but just slightly but the carrier itself carrier itself yeah now it's almost even I would say all right looks like uh, the carrier is starting to convert the shells towards the anti-ship role is it going to change much I think now it's uh, the amount of uh, guns remaining is much much lower than it used to be so the effects of the of the artillery barrage should be uh, much much uh, gentler in general okay looks like some some other rockets are, are falling and the propulsion systems are totally non-existent anymore on Solan Pilago uh, Silesia is still pushing. I think that the main difference here is that uh, that uh, NATO traps planes they, they tend to they attack basically from the front, right from the front, and uh, the propulsion systems, the radar and propellers are just hidden here in the back, so they are they have low chance of actually being hit. Uh, while my planes they are attacking from. Uh, all sides they are basically encircling the enemy so the, the damage is being spread out more okay some low caliber sabo is still being shot and also some flag and looks like uh, some of the shots are being missed mixed with uh, okay, that was a, a good hit here uh, looks like uh, hash is being mixed in now okay Slona Pilago is 65% uh, while uh, Silesia is 72 so not really a huge difference in, in amount of uh, hit points here and still some torpedoes managed to go just just below the target this is a lot of uh, wasted damage potential good hit and looks like some hash is being uh, added to the mix as well finally it's not a lot and this is just uh, 152 uh, 
millimeters of, of hash so this is a not uh, not a huge amount of uh, of hash actually so it's not going to do a lot of damage maybe help a little bit but uh, at this stage I think it doesn't really matter that much Okay, just uh, six per seven percent uh, of hit point difference between the carriers. Very, very close fight, and of course, it's far from being decided right now. The barricades are still being produced, and this is the major problem for Silesia because. You know those planes hurt a lot and there's not really a lot uh, separating the carrier from being disqual uh, disqualified, uh, decued and, and destroyed. Okay some extra shells falling and it's uh, really close now. 57% And no, it wasn't the carrier, but I think it's going to be very close. Yeah, it's too damage right now. So it's going to uh, despawn slowly and uh, this is going to take some time. So I think some of those planes are definitely going to be uh, created. And of course, each plane is, uh, is an extra hazard. And yeah, the Silesia is just sitting on 61%, so I don't really know if it's going to be able to, to actually survive. Okay. The last shells, hash shells are still being produced. I think that the carrier is uh, going to switch over to the to the anti-air mixture very very soon. Looks like we still have some propulsion, very slight, but uh, still it's uh, it's going forward. So now this is a battle of survival of Silesia. It's 61%, very, very low, just on the brink of destruction. And we still have like three healthy planes and three or four a little bit less healthy planes on Natterchap's side. So, so yeah, this is, uh, this is difficult. <laughs> All right, looks like that Kanya tried to approach the Paracat, but without a huge success here. Okay, another approach. Shots are being fired and yeah, a couple of beams, couple of uh, slopes have been shaved off, but the plane is still flying. I'm not sure if it's got a if it's a uh, torpedo missile, uh, it's, if it's a missile, is actually still active. Not sure about that. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, another another projectile is flying towards Silesia, which is, yeah, it's almost done. 50, 55.1. Oh, all right, too damaged. No, so <laughs> it wasn't possible. So Silesia is going down. And there are still six, seven planes remaining. So, but this is uh, this doesn't matter anymore. Silesia is despawning, and uh, the air ba battle continues. But of course, uh, the planes have no place to actually come back to. So there is not going to be. Uh, they cannot uh, land anywhere, and they are going to be lost. So both ships uh, end up with. Uh, 
perfect destruction score and uh, the worst possible uh, damage retained score. So, so everything is going to be decided, of course, by the voting there. Okay, let's uh, let's look uh, still a little bit more uh, at the Kanya planes, if they have any luck. But yeah, I think that the, the major problem with, uh, with Kanyas is that uh, those uh, targets which are sitting on the surface of, of water, they are they are the biggest issue, uh, and they just prevent them from engaging another target. That's a major problem here. Like this one, it's it still can be shot, but just for uh, for a little while, while it's not fully in the water. Okay, some shots have been fired, but uh, no real success. But all right, okay, I think that we, we've seen uh, enough of uh, Kanya's action. Uh, the results are not going to be changed here, uh, regardless of the uh, fighter action. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next episode.